Well, thank you, Dr. Blakely, for sitting down with us. Um, jumping right into it, after your pick to head the recovery of New Orleans after Hurricane Katrina, uh, what were your top priorities in terms of rebuilding the city? Well, the most important thing is I had to figure out what the social infrastructure was, who are the actors in the city, what kind of institutional arrangements could we leave behind that would improve New Orleans into the future. What would you leave? Well, the thing that we're leaving is a new bureaucracy, a new organizational structure for the city. So in what way is this bureaucracy more streamlined? In what way is it better than the old one? Well, the old bureaucracy had about 20-some people reporting to the mayor. Okay. The new one has five. Are there now less people working for the city government than there were before? Oh, or is yeah. it the same amount? Yeah. That. How much working before? Uh, they were about 6,000, now they're about uh, 2,000. How about uh, the rebuilding of, say, the soul of New Orleans? How did you go about healing the people emotionally after the storm? People are going to be traumatized for a long time, and many people don't realize that they'll have traumatic stress four or five years after the event that they didn't feel that they're experiencing during the event. And is there anything that the government can do to alleviate that? Well, the government can stop getting in the way of people. But still, there's a lot of hesitation within our bureaucracy about that. Every piece of the bureaucracy wants people to come to their office rather than going to this one-stop center. They give all kinds of excuses and reasons, but it's just control. Weren't there uh, quite a lot of reports saying that the federal government was waiting for the city to have a plan ready to rebuild the city? The, the plan was already ready and approved. The plan came two years after the hurricane. That's right. And then the federal government gave their money about a year after the plan? A year after the plan. So would you say that the biggest impediment actually came from the city not having a plan in place? No, no. The federal government could easily have provided funding for buildings and for infrastructure without that plan, and legally. But they did not. What was the rationale? Uh, they didn't have any. They're fighting a war in Iraq. They didn't have the money. So you're saying the biggest challenge in terms of recovery has been the federal government so far? Yes. How about like the city bureaucracy? City bureaucracy is a problem, but it's really a very small problem. Uh, while the federal government said it was providing funds for New Orleans, almost all those funds were to pay federal contractors for federal work. So, for example, the federal government had to pay the Coast Guard for the work it did. The federal government had to pay for the levies. The federal government had to pay for all the advisors and things they sent to New Orleans but they were not providing New Orleans, the city, with any money. But all that went on the New Orleans account. So they said, we're providing X billions of dollars to New Orleans. Basically, that money flowed right back to the federal treasury. New Orleans um, you know, is, is a city with its own culture, its own personality. What was it like working in New Orleans compared to working in the other cities that you've worked in? Well, the professional bureaucracy in cities like San Francisco, and Los Angeles, and New York, and Oakland, is very sophisticated. Uh, in New Orleans, we had a situation, for example, where I forget the percentage of the staff, 20, almost 30 percent of the staff were taking literacy courses. In New Orleans, many people were in jobs where they had no professional background. And uh, there was a tendency in New Orleans to reduce the job to your level rather than lift up to the requirements. If underqualified people are working for city government, how do we expect to have a, an efficient rebuilding process? You can't. That's why you can't take it out.